There is a healing word for you. I have to scroll back down here. Um, so seven healing for you. Okay. Uh, and then I, I mock viciously the golem. I say something like uh, about its, its, its upbringing or something. Okay. All right. Uh, I will roll to save for the golem. So you, you make fun of the golem. Yes. Uh, okay. The golem will attempt to resist I being made. I the various pieces of you when you were alive. <laughs> And yeah, you're even more rubbish because you're multiple. You're made of trash pieces. You are worse you than are the trash. You are worse than the sum of your parts. Ooh. Okay. Oh. All right. So the uh, the the golem is indeed mocked viciously. Ah. I rolled a twelve, uh, and he uh, he can hear and understand you and knows that he's been mocked. And he slams a fist into the wall. Chunks of of stone flying into the air. Uh, yeah, he's pissed. Um, with Vicious Mockery, he has disadvantage on his next attack? He does, yes. Okay. Alright. He is not happy he, about that. That is my move. Okay. Alright. Um, so, uh, eight, it is your turn. Now, you're not currently in a place where you can attack the golem. No, and I can't get to one either. Well, I mean, you can go through, I technically, stand the, on the, lightning technically the zombie is your friend, but yes, the, the, the floor is hot lightning. The Don't floor you is have hot the lightning. javelin? Yeah, but... Does the net have reach? No. Okay. Javelins are not. They're like... My halberd has reach. Oh. Um, I guess I could get out. You could also delay your action because the jewel's probably going to move back to make space for eight. Yeah, After yeah. That. they can't both move and attack as part of a held action. That's true. Yeah. You can, and move. I go after the golem. I'd be like, if I went before, it might help because then it might move. So mm. go. Mm -hmm. Well, I um, rolled real bad on my initiative thing. <laughs> I mean, 16 is not real bad. Me this is an actual bad. dungeon. I'm dungeon. sorry, it's real bad when your bonus is 7. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, you rolled sub-average. That's fine. Okay, so why don't... Oh, God. Uh, I don't want to fight with a halberd. I don't even get jewel in it. It sucks. Stupid halberd. Why am I... Oh, it's called Jim. It's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. I forgot about Jim Halbert. Uh, Freeman's leader should be holed up here. This place has seen better days. <laughs> Do you expect cleanliness from a group of thugs? Uh, I did too. So, if I if I throw the javelin into the flesh golem, yeah, can I get it back? Yeah. So. I I think, no, arrive? I think technically it falls on the ago. ground at He's his feet. With it doesn't now. actually stick into him, so you don't have to, like, try to yank it out or whatever. So it will end up in this, it'll be there, like, where he is. I don't want to go there. That's a bad place. Yeah. Um, I don't know how we're into that. Go one further. If it's got bad AI, then we just, like, wait around the corner, and you'll just come near it. Okay. You know, I'm hoping it comes towards us, but as I said, I don't think it's gonna. Mm. Yeah, what do you want to do? I don't know, everything sucks. Uh, <laughs> you just turn off. If I, yeah, if I move, because you can move into your ally squares, but you can't finish your turn there. So can I move into Jules' square, attack, and then move out, but take the. I I no, I don't think so. I think I think you have to be able to stop long enough to make an attack. Like you can't be like Jewel and I occupy this square. I attack, then I move out. Like you you have to be able to stop somebody long enough to attack. I think it's just you can end your movement now. Yeah yeah yeah. That, that would that's... be ending your movement and then attacking them and then doing move again. Yeah. I think that the best bet would be to hold an action in case it like comes During forward. room by room? Because Jewel... Yeah, it's just a shame to miss in the pet because you only get one off of that. I mean, yeah. could you do here and then range? Do you have a range? Can you completely delay your turn? Like, can you no. choose to go lower in the initiative order? No, not 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 in this. You okay. The way it works is that you, it's like a if then, so you hold action. So you say, I'm going to do this if this happens. I, I know that I yeah. forgot whether or not you can be like, I would like to go very, there. Yeah, very, very little, very little influences your initiative during the fight. Okay. Yeah. What do you think, Dave? Can you do? Yeah, I... 
I moved back one square and I don't yeah. Because I wanted a lighter square. Okay. Square. And what's the what's the trigger here? Ah, uh, if a flesh golem moves it then moves it. So the beginning of the flesh golem is turn. Maybe it's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit Uh, the electric courses through the flesh dollar, uh, healing them out of the room. Uh, it is going to take two slam Uh, I rolled a 21. Um, Rin, do you, do you have part of the station? Um, yeah, uh, well, uh, what's your AC at, Jules? I can half the damage on this one with my reaction if you want to see what the hits yeah, on the side. Yeah, do that, do that. Okay, alright. So the first use Dodge to half the damage. The golem's all pissed because you, you know, you were making fun of him and you're trying to break into his house and, and Trenzia is like, go, oh, my golem, destroy them. And so he, you know, he takes, he takes a swing, he hits the wall with that first angry swing and then backhands you, uh, Jewel, but you roll yeah. with it. Um, he gets a 12, so you take 12 bludgeoning damage. So I'll have that to yeah. six. Yeah, so you, you roll with it, and then he follows up with a second swing. Uh, and this one does not have disadvantage, and he rolls a 20 on this one. I'll, yeah, I'll do that one. Okay, okay. all right. Slightly, now we're at 50-50 odds. It's, it's okay. slightly better. Let's see if I can cut in words. Our dear friend, the golem. Yeah! Nice. Okay, so that reduces it down to 15. Uh, and he, he flinches at the last moment, and I think that the, the, the left hook catches the corner of the wall, and in slow motion, Might big, strong here. fist, smashes out some bricks, sends them scattering, bouncing off of the face of the zombie. Screech, distracting him. Yeah, exactly. Teamwork. Uh, okay, so, uh, he will stand his ground, and Jewel, it is your turn. Uh, I'm going to, I mean, I, I think Jewel knows that it's a little bit of a lost cause because uh, he's standing on electricity floor, so oh, she's going to go after him, so I, hmm. I can't, past this round I wouldn't be able to hold my action, right? Because I won't be able to hold to attack my guess. No, no, you, you hold until your next turn, right? Oh, so okay, cool. This is, this is where there's weird, like, reset. So, so if you say, yep, yep, yep. I, if this happens, I do that, it will hold until the next time your turn starts. Right. Then I am going to... I'm, go I'm going to hope that it's going to move back, so she's going to bonus action, disengage. Oh, wait. No. Screw it. Um... No, she's gonna bonus action, disengage, move back, and then hold her action to stab it if it's within range. Yeah, okay. cause I, I could hit it and then try, but it'll just get rejuvenated on its turn if it doesn't move, so. All right, walk me through that again. What are you doing? I haven't decided, sorry. Let's <laughs> uh, it. We're gonna stab it now, and then okay. I'm gonna move backwards. Um, right, because you get to attack and then flop away. And yeah, because it won't be able to make the melee attack against her, and on the off chance it doesn't rejuvenate. We stab it with, with short sword. Roll, roll this. 19? Okay, yeah, 19's a hit. Okay. Uh, for 19 damage. Very nice. And then, um, so bonus the action. So the magic, the magic blade of your short sword cleaves yeah. the enchanted flesh of the golem. Uh, it roars in frustration and anger. And then, uh, bonus action, we'll just throw a little extra d4 damage in there. A little, little pokey poke with 16? Uh, 16's a hit, yeah. Nice. He's big and cumber- he's big and cumbersome, he doesn't- <laughs> For one more damage! He doesn't even notice it, you're just like, poke! <laughs> he's like, ow, like you just gave me 19, that's- you just want to round up, or what? Okay. I did, yes. <laughs> um, and then she's gonna move, and it can't take the, uh, AO, cause, um... And she's gonna move back to here. Okay. Because uh, she stabbed it. Alright. Okay. And yeah, you stab it so you get to, you get to flop away. Alright, Makaria. It is your yeah. turn. Yeah. Hopefully. I'm real hurt right now. Zomboromir stands ready. I love Zomboromir. You're, you're not allowed to heal yourself. You have to wait until you become unconscious first. I can't do that. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> 
Um, that would be a cool ability though for the grave, the grave there, like a life three kind of thing where you yeah record back to life. That must be yeah, but there's no, there's no there's no real way to like if even if you could like set up like a uh, reaction once I dot once I go mm -hmm. unconscious. No, like, yeah, you you have to be capable of performing the thing. Um, I feel like I'm going to conjure my spiritual weapon because that doesn't actually occupy the space. I feel like right? you're gonna do that too. Uh, would you like to? Uh, yeah, okay, um, the only thing is, is I could potentially throw it up nearer to the floating head and we could have a floating skull battle. You've got to be able to see it to command. Yeah, like that's what I thought, I could like move forward, floating skull battle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that would be really cool looking. Um, I don't know if it would be useful because I can't command it if I can't see it, so I think I'm going to put it right here. Eight can still occupy that space though yep. because it's, it's, it's not, not It's not thing. like a real thing, yeah. Okay, yeah. alright, so with a... With a, a shriek, the spiritual weapon, the floating skull oh. of Merkel, uh, appears and sinks its teeth into the flesh column. An 11 is, is enough to hit. Yeah. It is? Oh, oh okay. Cool. Um, well, there we go. Uh, 12 force damage. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and head what back to the camp real two, quick. For, fo for folks who just watched me adjust the hit points of that thing, of uh, minus one, it, the jewels one damage didn't actually do anything. I just forgot to, to point that out because the, the dagger doesn't hurt it. Um, okay. Cool. All right, so it bites it. Force so damage. Yeah, and okay. then for my um, main action, because that was my bonus action, I will also toll the dead. Bong. DC 15 wisdom. Sorry, my puppy uh, you have to be able to see the target. Blankets, I was just trying it. to pull my blankets up over yeah, my legs. I, I, I yeah, definitely yeah, wound up pulling the puppy. You, you can see as much. Well, you can't. I mean, you got to draw a line, right? Like, you can see as much. Okay. That's fine. Hey. I think for a spell like this, you can definitely. Uh, okay. Uh, so, the flesh golem makes. Now he's got advantage on this. Uh, so he's going right. to roll. Time to change parties real quick. 16 and 19. So oh, what a butt face. He's okay. He's so wise. Uh, the wisdom of the flesh golem. Yeah. So, I mean, you you feel somehow, I don't know how, uh, <laughs> you you cast the spell and you feel his very nature resist your magic. Uh, you feel so something about him like a lot of color. Uh, no, no, it's it's that it's a spell. Um, oh. Yeah, it's that he just has some kind of magic dampening power. That's it's weird, not that he's super. Because Ren didn't feel that. I mean, um, yes. I wouldn't know that. Yeah. But... I mean, this is my way of just letting everybody know. It was the same for. It was the same for Rin. Yeah, I can't remember if I if I didn't. Okay, no, I didn't. I just thought like, is it something specific about that? Spell? Yeah, sorry. So with with Rin's spell, uh, I got a twelve and a nine, so it it doesn't. It didn't make okay, I just wanted to like. It's magic. Know. You can definitely tell. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Um, I think uh, I'm gonna. I have to be within sight of that guy. Um, I guess I'll just. Their new leaders stay and are driving hope. them to take care of themselves. I don't know, man. Do you want to um? Do you want to let your uh? What you is your, your opinion your, of the civil war? Yeah. 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 No, Gonfarmia. The zombie is unable to harm the flesh golem. Word spread no. More pain. Yeah, we just want to survive. He's animated by magic, but he himself is not magic. I'll be here. Uh, cool. Okay. Uh, so Trenzia, on her turn, continues to vomit forth lightning onto the floor, uh, keeping her her friend charged. Rin, it is your turn. Well then, um, hmm, she's got to do that every turn, right? Yes, she does. On each of his turns, use it. Is the flesh? No, it's a flesh golem. It's dark to heat metal. I'm not going to do anything to it. Mm, yeah, yeah. He's made of flesh. I could try and move forward and heat metal the skull, because it is a metal skull. That's the floor true. is also metal. That's I mean, that wouldn't do anything to the skull because it's floating, but it might encourage the flesh golem to move. Mm -hmm. Possible. Possible. Uh, it's more if I can see anything from when I get there. Uh, hmm. Alright, let's see. Let's see if we can do one. Ah! Two, three, four, five, six, three there. 
still can't see the the, the wizardies. Yeah. So. Sister Costo's dead. Um. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> that ruins that plan. But. Um. I guess I will heat metal the floor. Okay. Underneath the golem. All right, let's take a look at the old heat metal. So Everyone's heat, favorite spell. Heat metal. Says a creature in contact. I prefer black metal. Myself. Object that you can see takes two d eight fire damage. It's holding or wearing the object, they can pass Constitution save or drop it. If it doesn't drop the object, this is disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. While it's in contact, you keep inflicting the damage. It's fun. Okay. That's interesting because it says holding or wearing, but it means in contact. If which the creature, well, well, no, no, it says if they're holding or wearing, they have to drop it. Yeah. Um, basically, I, I'll allow you, you can like heat up a, a one square of floor because the floor has copper plates. Yeah. So you're right, casting so it on a you're casting it on on a plate underneath I'll, it. It'll take I'll, the damage because you're 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 giving it hot foot, and then yeah. it'll move next turn so it doesn't get burned again. That is that is good. That's what I want. Okay. Let's do that. Ah, um, the yeah, it's not gonna move forward. You got a you got a hot plate in there. That's not allowed in this dungeon. But then it can't attack. Uh, oh, can attack well, huge there. But the zombie being there as well. It's just gonna kill the zombie. We're gonna go see more way around the corner. Ripping apart. So it does nine nine damage. Okay. Trying to get away. Next time. All right. So he takes nine damage. Ah. Okay. Let me see what fire does to this nerd. Um. So far as it's concerned. Okay, yeah. So he, uh, yeah, he roars in pain uh, and like hops back and forth on his like burnt, mismatched feet and like like grabbing them like ah and like looks back at the skull so I do uh, have to who uh, right. snarls at him like ah you coward just move and he's just like Aah! his feet are all burning and he takes oh, my damage. Oh, he doesn't like the fire. No, he does not like the yeah. fire. So uh, yeah, if he's distracted, that's he's confused. Need to go his feet are all very, burned up. Very, very bare. Uh, cool. All right, Ren, and that's your turn. Uh, so eight, it is your turn. I'm just gonna move him for a second so that I can. And you are, uh, you are. It's a concentration spell, right? Yeah. Every turn, I can take bonus action to like uh, do the damage again if somebody's on that. If they're on that thing. Okay. Yeah, all right. Awesome. Pretty sure, but so there's there's our hot hey, panel. Knock him down on that square. <laughs> and the, the skull's not occupying that space, like correct. What, so. I know. That's yep. I'll go up and I'll hit him. I'll do my job. Okay, so he's he's still there though. He's still standing on the hot square. Okay, all right. Yep. Go to him. Okay. So onto the skull. They look kind of cool together. <laughs> yeah, you kind of do. <laughs> So you, yeah, you step into that square, and the floating skull of Merkel is like superimposed over your own head. So it looks like you have a cool ghost helmet. Oh, cool. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stab him with javelin. Or you look like Ghost Rider. Uh, Ooh, yeah, suddenly you look like Nicholas Cage. All right. Uh, I'm gonna stab him with the stabber. You are. You are indeed gonna stab him with the stabber. Okay. Okay. Cool. He takes it's nine working. nine piercing damage. Mark that nerd. Okay. Uh, actually, didn't I check this? Doesn't mark go away if I move away from it. I think so. I think it's if you do. There's a certain like, you have to engage. That's it. Does mark this creature. Um... No, it doesn't go away, but it doesn't have its effect on the sun there. Okay. That's... But. Okay. I could grapple him. I'm not going to do that. Well, it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, So he's got a five. Five is the number to be. Twenty two. Alright, you to the hot plate. You knock him on his ass right onto the hot plate. He falls down, his back starts to sizzle. Mm. Okay. And then I move back. Provide thing in the technology. 
He's already got disadvantage and he's prone, so he just kind of tries to like break the edge fight you. Um, so it's like a foot kicks out in your direction. Disadvantage, uh, he gets a 10. So it's just a step aside. Uh, move back to me. Okay, all right. So on the screen, it's like all of the juvenile by light. Zip, zap, zorp. He gets nine hit points. Okay, uh, uses half of his movement to stand up. He's still marked, so there's nothing. Uh, he no longer has disadvantage. He's going to get off of the hot plate. He steps aside and he takes some swings at that zombie. First slam, here we go. He gets a 23. He deals 14 damage to the zombie. He deals 14 damage to the zombie? He does deal 14 damage to the zombie. He takes okay. a second swing at the zombie. Um, the second swing is a 27. It is a critical hit. Jesus. He deals... Uh, oh, he's dead. Yeah, he deals uh, 23 damage or 20, 21 damage to the zombie. So what's the DC that he's got me? He can't make it. It's a crit. So oh, on a crit, he can't. He just does it. He slams Zomboromir against the wall. Zomboromir's a bugbear, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then I think he reaches out with his left hand and he just grabs him by the head and he just <laughs> crushes him ah! Gallagher style. Blood and brains <laughs> fly everywhere. To balance my party and then the zombie, again, lifeless and once more, party flops balanced. to the ground. Rest in peace, zombie. No. One rope, one no. rope. The flesh golem looks at his hand, dripping with blood and skull fragments, and just like shakes it and looks back at Trenzi like, ah, <laughs> I did it. Oh, um, Zomboromir. All right, Jewel, it is your turn. Well, <laughs> that was too bad. Um, rinse and repeat. Uh, move, er, move up. Okay. Um, stab. Okay. Now you get to wear the cool skull helmet. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> the skull helmet trade off. Okay, you hit. Actually, it's at the just oh. right height. It's like okay, good. up and down. There's mm -hmm. nothing. There's no creatures or allies within five feet or anything. So I still get um, sneak attack for 15 damage. That's disappointing. Okay. And then Jewel is like, and <laughs> she moves back away. Okay. Where right. she was. So 14, 15 damage. <laughs> All right. Uh, cool. Having figured that the the, the little dagger don't don't do anything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but the sting the stings of uh, of crickets uh, cricket slice and did I just get um, that distracted? Uh, and eight stabbing being rams. Javelin, lightning something. Wow. Oh, uh, it was. Um, I knew I was. A spaz when I'm like this, but like I guess I'm not any better. Like actually, yeah. it's a good one. Okay, so. Uh, so between the two of you, like you're 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 seeing that this disclosure. thing is coming I apart. You're attacking it. the magic um, that is keeping its dead flesh together. Um, I, and, uh, yeah, I need don't need nicotine. Coming apart at the seams. Um, when I'm by myself or with my family, weirdly uh, enough. Okay. Um, like just my parents I and my brother. I am going to use my like bonus action to have my it. little schoolboy hit at him. Because I want to have the courage to 16? say what I think when I've got uh, people around other than my family. Uh, just, he takes it's like, 11 force damage. It's, my parents and my little okay. brother, I'm fine. Little schoolboy. And then... But um, anyone else? I think that I'm just going to like, heal myself. Like, if I'm in a work context, um, right? Because, or like, I'm around like, a lot of people I in felt general. That, like, I didn't see really anything happening last time I when I tried to attack him. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to cure wins on and my body. I, I did something that only a oh, junkie good. would I do. One fucking like, I am that. I am a junkie. <laughs> well, you get five. You get five hit points. Uh, it's okay. not nothing. And then... Yeah, uh, oof. I, I just, we're both in lines, and it makes me scared, but I'm just gonna, you know, uh, cautiously take a couple steps back, stay within I took view, a cigarette without just, asking like, permission you know, first. Scared, I mean, I did ask permission first, but the problem is okay, the person good. I asked permission from was good. on the clock right. and busy, uh, so I cool. sent her a Facebook um, message. And then I debated whether or not to go in and just Trenzia physically ask her. And... Will continue. But my to craving got the better of me, and it was so like, cool. no. We'll keep that going. Because the golem's still around. I took a cigarette. Uh, like... Rin, it is your turn. Um, and Rin, Makaria, I think Makaria, especially as you back yeah. up, 
You hear uh, banging on the other side of this door. Now, not like super loud, but the door is like rattling in its in its uh, frame. Something's I like was pushing that far on gone. the other side. Yeah, that's what we need. I is couldn't... the door made of metal, Adam? Thank the door is made out of wood with metal bands on it. Damn it! Yeah, all like all the like all the doors. Right? The metal bands might work. I mean, not all the doors are made of wood. And metal bands. <laughs> doors wood. It's it's got metal bands on the front Didn't of it. Didn't we discuss like Metallica and, and Iron Maiden and. Those sound pretty metallic. Mm. Is the Guns N' Roses poster on here for some reason? Red Lyrian. They were smuggling for the Templars. Uh, yeah, you want to do it, Not anymore. I am trying to decide. This is new info. The door information. It is new, yes. This is new information. Uh, <coughs> okay, well, that's not going to work. Um, all right, well, I'm going to stop concentrating on heat metal because it's pointless. Nobody's going to stand in my cool hot plate. <laughs> Come on, stand on it. Oh, uh, you're no fun. Okay, so with a sizzle. But I guess Oh I god, will... and it's like a it's like a it's like a George Foreman grill that hasn't been cleaned properly. It's got little chunks of golem flesh. Oh, no. Ooh, golem uh, I will I will healing word Macaria. Okay. Because I don't know what's gonna come through that door and we should probably be a little healthier. There's ten health. Why? Um, and then I will vicious mockery the 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 golem because I mean okay and I healing more. Right, so so oh, we yes, uh, the, the save wisdom save survey says <clears throat> actually not bad you got an eighteen oh damn it an eighteen right. and a seventeen well he passes fine he okay. get mocked. He is unmocked. Yeah, yeah, I mean he's all burned and, and angry and he's still like pretty hype about fighting that zombie and stuff. So yeah. Uh, all right, eight. Do you want to go and un unstoke this dude? Yeah. Um, I double checked and was looking at when the unwavering mark stuff goes off. So I'll um, move up. Didn't give him disadvantage on attacks against. Him. Fine. Um, not the part I was concerned with. Uh, I do my as my action. I'll take my javelin attacks. Okay. Poke. Yeah, you hit. I think it's like near impossible for you to miss this guy. Okay. Yeah. Like right now, I he's got like nine armor class. Yeah, I have plus nine. Yeah. I don't need one. Uh, hit again. I want one. Okay. But I don't need one, and I know I don't Christ. need one, so I. All right. Now, the I flesh don't have any trouble resisting you, the urge you to plunge. God damn it! You plunge your right. javelin into his face. That's... It comes out the other side. He like yeah. clutches at it, so, kind of helplessly, yeah. and then. Like, tumbles forward, Solus sliding is... off of the off of the point, and <laughs> part of me that understands the, the mystic. <sighs> Dorian's the part of me that's a in addition. Player. If a creature moves by part of me that other than you, feels every muscle's emotions, and Cullen is the part action. of me that's a I had another stab, and it does increase yeah. damage. Well, and I have advantage on the attack. You're all charged no, up. It's like you got to sneeze. You you can't do it. All right. So the flesh golem lies splorched on the electro floor. That's sad. Uh, actually, it's, it's pretty good. I was pretty worried about that, but he didn't get to do anything. Um, sorry, zombie. Um, mm -hmm. And I moved from next to here, so 5, 10, 15. I guess I moved back just in case Lightning Lady decides she's a good <laughs> Lightning Lady. I already forgot the name, I'm sorry. It's okay. Trenzia. Trenzia. Okay. Lightning Lady. Lightning Lady. She couldn't sound more like a auntie wizard. Uh, Jewel, it is your turn. You can hear thumping on this this door at oh, the end of the hall. You hear noises from the door, and the floor is definitely still crackling with electricity. Mm -hmm. Jewel goes, I'm not stepping on the floor. That sounds like a terrible idea. And um, I think she's going to... Oh, uh, there's probably an attack coming from somewhere, so she's going to back up. I think she should be able to get to just around the corner. Okay. I think. Let's see. Well, it's 25. Wait, no, I'm bad. I'm bad at this. Um, I think she'll just get right next to Macaria. Um, I want to get. No, oh, I can just bonus action. She's gonna move. Um, and a bonus action to dash, and then I'm gonna ready a if something comes in range to stab it. Okay. <sighs> We end up back here. Okay. All right. There 
is a stabbable target, I would like to lodge a sword in it. I'm a stabbable target. I, I, I set assume up a fast you travel network. There are three well, locations I need to reach. <laughs> lodge your short sword directly in the back of my neck. Okay. All right, so uh, that's Jewel. Um, Makaria, hmm. it's your turn. Oh, good. Um, I'm feeling a little bit more healed. Um, there's a door that's rattling. Uh, I would like to step across the other side of the hallway and uh, say to the door, um, excuse me, we're quite busy right now. Uh, on the other side of the door, you hear <laughs> and scratching as the door like rattles. Ugh. Multiple voices, too. Multiple scratchy voices? Yeah. Um, I do something that I have never done before, and, uh, I cast oh. Turn Undead. Uh, I believe they have to be able to see you. Uh, oh. I don't think you can cast Turn Undead mm -hmm. through a wall. I just wanted to make them go away. Yeah, no. Never mind, you, you, they, I don't they do have to be able to I've see you. You hold before. off your holy symbol, and they see it, and they're like, ah, fuck, I hate that shit, and they run off. Um, but okay. they have to be able to see it. You can't just be like, God is in this room. I can feel God in this room tonight. <laughs> I am God, God over here. <laughs> you better run. I was thinking the same thing with Detect Dog Splish, but it's people you can see. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that was so that's five, the walls. 10, 15, 25, 20, 25, 30. I still can't see her. Having a hard Um. Left but I can see chance. my uh, thing, so I'm going to make it move 20 feet um, in a diagonal into the room. Okay. So I think it can get to, like, here or something. I can't move it. Well, yeah, where do you want it? Uh, just 20 feet and a diagonal mm -hmm. into the room. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can still see it. So you can see it, like, crawling across the room. Okay. I can't see her, but I assume she's in there somewhere I can't see, so... I'm okay. just gonna start moving it now because it's really slow. All right, so uh, you can't see this happening. Um, you hear the sound of a, a fire igniting, like a, a, a conflagration of fire, <laughs> just bursts of flame, uh, and then uh, the fire gets uh, louder and louder. But I don't know by how much. Let me look up this spell. I got a cool animated spell effect for you. Every Okay, up here's an within duration, uh, or within a distance of 60 feet. Oh, is this... Okay. Not... Okay. My day. Flame sphere. Yeah, so a sphere of fire <laughs> appears oh, in the hallway, whoosh, bursts into flame, uh, and I think it just starts rolling towards you. I think that's, where, that's how that works. Um, so it roll across steps. Yeah, trying to go underwater. <laughs> comes up on the other side. All right. Uh, so let's see. Uh, so you cast it as a regular action, and then as a bonus action, you can move it up to thirty feet. Um, and I think she's also going to move because she can fly around. So, it's really so how do I get up there? Is the question. Spells. What they call it steps. Yeah. So it's probably a whole bunch of stones to climb. Or a hill. Alright, and then yeah, she just rolls the flame sphere at you. So it can move 30 feet, mm. and if you ram it into a creature, you have to make a saving throw. So here we go. Here we go. It's gonna go ram, 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 and just like ram into all three of you. <laughs> So uh, everybody make a everybody make a saving throw against this ball ball fire that's rumbling through the through the hallway, trying to smash into you. Wait, it can like go around stuff. You can just move it. Is that what that is? Yeah, it's like a semi semi full. It's a weird spell. Yeah, um, it can jump over five foot tall barriers. Let me see if it stops. Oh no, it stops at the first person. Okay, all right. So it's gonna slam into it's gonna slam into eight and then stop. Yeah, I didn't see that part. Also look at okay. look how cool it is. Um. Is this a dexterity saving throw? This saving throw is a dexterity saving throw, yes. Hell yeah. Um, <sighs> add my shield's AC bonus to dexterity saving throw and make seven. Tiny ball of fire bonking around in the room. Oof. Eleven? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think an eleven is sufficient. Uh, her save DCs are definitely not. Uh, so, Flaming Sphere, when it crashes into you, you take 
Uh, 2d6 fire damage. I think it, you, you jam your shield into the ground, and it climbs up the shield and jumps onto you, and it burns you. Uh, so it's uh, 9 damage, 9 fire damage. And if you ran the sphere in a creature, it makes a saving throw, and then the sphere stops moving. Okay, cool. So it is, it is where it is. And if you end your turn on the sphere, you will also be burned. Uh, okay, and that's Trenzia's turn. Uh, Rin? I really want to heat up her metal face. <laughs> I really want to do it. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, dude. So I'm going for it. One, two, three, four. Uh, where is the skull? Is that the skull? Does yeah. It yeah, sorry, my window is in the way. Yeah, yeah uh, my flaming skull is red. There's so many skulls. Hers yeah, okay, she's, she's, this is Trenzia over here. Yeah. This is the lady I need. So we're going to cast heat metal on her face. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Enjoy this! Why? Why did I install a metal face? Red Templar. <laughs> okay. Alright, so she, she just takes the fire damage. Yeah. Um. Uh, if anyone else specifies that they can't drop it or remove it, then they, they're just screwed. Yeah, okay. She cannot drop her own face. Uh, so I keep doing the damage for the bonus fire. Now, she is, she is resistant. <laughs> She's got Teflon face, so the girl with the Teflon face. So yeah, you could fry an egg on that thing. Um, but yeah, it just starts to heat up, and she screams and it, like in in more rage than pain. Like how dare you? How dare you burn my face? Uh, and, uh, uh, no, she's not. Uh, she actually is. She's actually modified. This is a modified version of the usual flame skull. So some of her resistances have changed. Some of her abilities are also different. Does she save hey. on Flamesfit? Uh, she does have to make a concentration check. She's got a plus two. She gets a 18. She's fine. The Flaming Sphere can come in. Uh, yeah, so she takes the 10 damage yep. or whatever. Yeah, she takes five. That's it, yeah. Okay, and while her face is on fire, she has disadvantage against... Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, because she can't drop her own face. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're in... Um, you need to make a dexterity saving throw, uh, unless you have more move. Like, you can feel the heat. If you move away from the fireball, uh, it will not burn you. You're in it, not when no, no, if, it's, if you're close to it. It'll, oh, really? it'll roast you. Yeah. Well, I just go there. Yeah, so I was going to say, you can, feel, you can feel the heat from the fireball. So you move out of the way. Cool. And, yeah. And you, you got that, like, kind of like you start sweating, and you can feel your skin starting, like, crisp. Like, and you move. Okay. Uh, so, eight. It is, uh, it is your turn. Okay. I can't hear feel the heat, uh, not in James Wood's voice, as <laughs> Hades in Kingdom Hearts 1. Feel the heat. Oh god, spam that. Oh, so many times. Um, I'm just gonna count how far away I am. 15, 30. I don't wanna just it's go over last there. two. Teleportation, <laughs> like known teleportation. Teleportation's <laughs> up. Can we hear the. Has do you anyone still have the you? action surge? Uh, yeah, I do have action surge. Okay. <laughs> um, has anyone said anything about the door? No one has told you about the door yet, no. Okay. Well, in which case, uh, yeah, I'm gonna... No, I'm gonna use... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Mm-hmm. Now... And I will, as an action, take the dash action. Okay. And run over there. The grill. Uh, you want to yeah. set up camp? And we will, we'll do the, we'll do the um, action search. Too. Okay, you haven't, you, uh, you haven't used your action search? Not yet, no. Okay. I was going to use it on the ghouls, and I think I did. I, I feel like you did. That's the thing. Like, I, that's why I was I like, feel like you may I have think it. you did already. Um, oh, it's deleted my tracker from me. <laughs> <laughs> you used All it right. so hard, you can never use it again. Yeah, I don't. I think you've if used it. If you think it's already. used, then yeah. Yeah, totally I, I seem to remember using it. Um, Are you talking about the, the ghouls, like the electric ghouls fight? There's yeah. the other ocularum for this region. Uh, action surge doesn't usually make it into the thing, but yeah, if you see three attacks by eight in a row, that's what I was looking yeah. for. Okay. Yeah, I think it's fine. We'll check it after the. Uh, On the way to set up a new teleportation uh, Jewel, it's, it's your spot. 
The door is making noises. That is, is concerning. Yeah. Does the door appear to have like a locking mechanism on it? Mm, no, but it, it's like it requires a handle, uh, yeah, right? And so you can you possible. can see the handle like moving the little like okay. valve. Or whatever. She's just straight up gonna like lock the door if yeah. she could. If there big... was, like, a now, or now, if you wanted to, you could use your if you use your thieves tools to like jam the door. You could try to do that because you got like crowbars and shit in the pack. You got like little. Yeah, if if that's something that she can do without like, yeah. yeah yeah moving or breaking. It's like it's like but... in uh, it's like in Fallout when you realize you can reverse pickpocket a grenade into someone's bag. You could totally <laughs> use your tools to do the opposite. Yeah, I think that's because right now she's like we should take care of these separately to her, mm -hmm. um, and does not want us to get attacked from behind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So yeah, Jewel will move up to the door and then sorry my. I'm, I'm a clicking, but it's a lagging because I'm using the wrong thing anyway. Yeah, it's okay. Not cool. So moves up to the door. Okay. okay none of them and then um, I will roll with my thieves' tools for her action. And get them on the way Do back. Do it. Yeah. Not with strength, with dexterity. Twenty-six. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So you have you have jammed the door. Now this means this means to get through it, you're going to need to unjam it. But it yeah. also means that it's going to be much harder for whatever's on the other side. Like it's yep. no longer just. The Velociraptors have learned to open the door. You've slid the bolt, and they're going to try to, like... Yeah, her, in her mind, she's like, I can undo my own work. What could possibly go wrong? In a first-case scenario, it's a wooden door. I can break it. Also, she hears, like, the growling sounds of something that's probably going to eat their face on the other side. Okay. Um, okay, and that's my action, so... Uh, I think she's going to just, like, call out and tell them that she did that. Um, that she locked the door, um, okay. and then I'll... <laughs> I've broken this Lightly door in a way that makes it so they can't get us. Yeah. Uh, four or five. So she's gonna move up slightly, um, to Not set to up for the next turn. Okay, alright. Uh, it, it might be a little bit late. Um, I didn't want to interrupt. No, that's okay. Huh? Would it be okay if, uh, instead of moving up to it, then I threw my javelin there? Time oh yeah, no, we're 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 past we're past. When it's not process. your turn anymore, I think we're, yeah, we're we'll just, we're not being in the line. Um, Makari, you begin your turn super close to the fireball, which is okay. You just want to get away from it. Yeah. You can feel it like. Um, you. It's so a tiny, it's a gonna... tiny sun. One, two. Uh, that's three. I just don't know how to do diagonal. I feel like um. I feel like heat metal is one of those rare spells. There's just no saving throw from. Like it there's really no, is. You don't like, roll to attack. Make, they don't roll to defend. You make a con saving throw to drop whatever you're holding because it's usually like, yeah. sword related or armor. Right. But there's no yeah. There's no thing. It's never gonna be able to get plate armor off. No. Yeah. So it's not put together. Yeah. Well, no, and, and even even any creature physical contact with the object takes 2d8 fire damage. Yeah, just for no down. save, nothing. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's a sweet spell. Good. I remember using it a lot. Yeah, uh, it's very strong. Annihilation. Yeah, yeah, very, very strong. Totally. Um, so I think I'm going to move forward this one, um, just so I can have a full, like, shot on her. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to use my bonus action to move my skelly head uh, into uh, attacking range. Okay. And uh, we will. Okay. Twelve. Uh, twelve is a miss. Yeah. Uh, so it like swoops, but you know she's also They're pretty dancing. swoopy. They're dancing. Skull versus skull combat. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna uh, guiding bolt. I'm not sure how she likes to deal with. Oh, a ten. Good. That's I'm a not miss too. You that. guiding bolt the wall behind her. <laughs> the power of the power of Merkel strikes the wall. Good. And, and I is... just whiffed both of my things, and then I'm gonna take a step back. Good. All right. Uh, so uh, it is it is Trenzia's turn, uh, and I would love to take an action uh, for her, but we're gonna take a quick break first before Trenzia's revenge. Finally, I get to do something. Now her face is on fire. Does she take? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Hot Skull on Skull Action. There's fireballs, there's bonus actions, there's lasers. There used to be a golem, but he's dead now, poor guy. Um, so let's see. It's my turn. And by me, I mean Trenzia. So Trenzia is going to use her bonus action to slam this fireball into somebody. Uh, I think the shortest distance between two points is a straight line, so he's going to slam right into Makaria. 
So, Makaria, the fireball chases you. It rolls across the floor and smashes into you. Can you make a dexterity saving throw, please? Sure. Flaming Spear is like a weird version of spiritual weapon. I okay. get a one. Good. All right. So, you are scorched. Very scorched. For nine damage. Oh, not as scorched as one could be. I mean, it's only 2d6. So, it rolls up and bang, hits you. Uh, your clothes ignite in your flesh burns. It's not fun. It doesn't oh, it feel good. Sounds fun. Um, now, I gotta figure Trinzia, she's maintaining a spell. She's got, she's got Flaming Sphere. She's used up her one third level slot. The other second level slot, I think, is also a you stay up on this elevation spell. for the next one. I think. Let me take a quick look. I think this is going to come down to... Yep, concentration. Alright, this is going to come down to everybody's favorite. Everybody's favorite first level wizard spell. She's going to magic missile your ass. <laughs> so, uh, her eyes crackle and glow. Her mouth opens and magic missiles fly out. Uh, they are striking eight. So, magic missile... Uh, I cast this at a higher level, right? Second level or higher. Yeah, alright. She'll cast it at second level. So, she will take her other second level. Here come the next one. There go the goggles. Alright, you take 13 <laughs> Magical missile strike against your metallic body. Um, now, you could like move. Ah, she's faster than you. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think so go ahead and make your attack Yeah, so definitely hit. Surprisingly, no one. Any mark on a reaction? Because you're not taking the attack anymore. Is it when you deal damage with a melee attack? Is it when you take the attack action? What triggers? When you hit a creature with a melee weapon. Bam, there it is. So yes, you can. Yeah. Alright, cool. So she's marked. Good. Um, on the other side of the door, you can hear uh, banging and groaning and what have you. Um, so I'm going to roll here to see if they can, if they break the door. The DC is 26. Great. That's what you got for your jamming, your jamming roll. All right. So there are yeah. two of them. So they're going to, they're helping each other. Um, there's at least two of them anyway. Let's see how I do. I got to roll real good. <laughs> no, a six is not real good, Adam. Okay. So the door continues <laughs> rattling. Uh, and it's very clear, Jewel, that your quick thinking in, in jamming the door has uh, prevented them from breaking it down. It would have been a foregone conclusion. Okay, uh, Rin, uh, it's your turn. You are in the vicinity of the uh, of the fireball, but I do have to make uh, I do have to make a save uh, to see if that fireball is still there. Okay. Yeah. All right. When you end your turn. I think. I yes. Yes. Yeah, when you end your turn. Um. What's the DC? Ten. Yeah. It'll be okay. 10. She's fine. I got an eleven. Okay, so anyway, sorry, Rin, yes. Just don't no. don't end your turn no. close I'm, to the I'm hot circle. Gonna, we're going to move over here, and then uh, we're going to use a spell. Okay. And it's going to be a, a, a mockery of viciousness. Um, I guess that's what I can do for Trencia. All right, what do you, uh, what do you say? Uh, where's the rest of you? <laughs> Burn. Um, and then, and then so I hold on. She's got. Uh, she also has magic resistance. So I'm gonna roll with uh, with advantage. This is nice. Um, doesn't matter. I got a two and a four. Sick deal. Oh. She takes seven psychic shit. damage. Okay. And as a disadvantage on her next. Roll. She's already a disadvantage because her face is on fire. Well, there you go. And her face takes another ten damage. Ah! <laughs> ah my face! Ah! All right. Cool. Screw her face. <laughs> All right, you good? Yeah. All right, eight. It. It's your turn. She's still alive. Yeah. 
and she's like her face is melting kind of like dripping off of her skull i mean she didn't have a face to begin with but like the metal plating is burning into the skull and melting it and she's like like screaming one of her eyeball uh, bulbs has popped okay well even though she has increased movement mm -hmm. that is unfortunately not enough because okay. i imagine she's still mm -hmm. yeah oh yeah she just tried to get away like that's as far as she could go Literally as far away from you as you can get, so you just chase her. Yep. There's no escape. <laughs> Perfect. Um, just stab her a little bit. Just a little. Just a little bit. Okay, yeah, you hit her. Okay. Well, the best part All about right. these puzzles uh, is so you, usually... you come rushing up. I mean, you describe it. How do you, what do you, how do you kill this skull? You gotta, you gotta point the stick. What do you do with it? Just solve them front ways or back ways. Um, yeah, I think it's just through no way to the eye socket so and such force. Do this by eye. It cracks that area of so. bone and it and the force reverberates out and the whole thing just explodes. It just explodes from the inside. What? Nice, yeah. So you hit it and then sure. poof, the skull shatters and bits of skull chunk and like metal, twisted metal, fall to the floor, making a nice pinging sound because the floor is made out of uh, lightning or made out of copper. Uh, it, made, out of made of lightning. Yeah. Anything else you want to do, eight? Um, no, I think that's that's it for me. I use my full movement. Okay, her super cool fireball goes away, obviously. Um, just for next time, you know, you got your little stream deck. Next time you use <laughs> flaming sphere, uh -huh. you're gonna want you're gonna want <laughs> quad city DJs. You're gonna want some space jam. <laughs> nice, yeah, nice, totally. <laughs> sure. Yeah, little known fact. Um. The uh, the boss of uh, sub level nineteen is indeed Charles Barkley, uh, summoned from the basketball <laughs> dimension, and he just dunks on you with fireballs <laughs> oh, shit. all day. Any spell that has the word ball in it, he can cast it. Uh, any <laughs> sphere shaped weapon, he can use it. Chaos dunks all day long. Uh, okay, so eight, uh, you're gonna finish your turn there. Okay, let's try this. All right, from a different uh, Jewel. Yeah. What would you like to do? The door seems to be holding for the time being. Uh, she sort of calls over, like, uh, did you get the skull? Is, is the skull dead? Yes. He's dead! It okay. appears to be I, so. I don't know how long before they figure out that all they have to do is turn the handle, uh, but there's something in that other room. And <laughs> I just probably... love, I love the idea of you saying that, and then we cut back to the creatures in the other room, and one of them looks at the other one like, I fucking told you, and he just turns the handle. Steve! God damn it, Steve! All you have to do is turn the... He's like, I don't know! I'm trying! Do better! They're just like smacking each other's hands. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, um, I feel like we shouldn't just leave them, but we should prepare ourselves. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. So, Jewel is gonna, um, back up and then kind of move up and uh, ready her, her weapons and her actions for someone else in the group to go first. Oh, you want us to try and unlock the door that you locked? With your no, she, she just doesn't, she's waiting for everyone to group up before right. she's gonna, like, in case they get through the door, she's ready to stab them, but she's waiting for the group mm. to be a group around okay. the door before she unlocks it. Got him. She's like, so let's, let's, let's team up. We're, we're good. Let's, let's do that thing we're supposed to do. Okay. I... You're very far away from me. <laughs> okay. Um, good. Uh, so you're gonna do that, Jewel. You're, you're now. Do you your your whole hold action is if something comes to the door, just like attack it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, she, she doesn't think they're gonna until she unlocks it, but yeah. It's an it's an inevitability given the way the dice work in this game. Macario, um, what do you want to do? I am going to uh, start moving. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna move my skull boy over here because I assume that like once we deal with the store, that's the next direction. To where? To here. Okay. Um, because it can't get to the store. Yeah. Um, it's gonna take like three or four turns to get there. Um, and then I will mourn some Boromir. Mm -hmm. Um, his beautiful face <laughs> crushed into pain. I will take a small bit of its flesh to study later. Um, and I will move one, two. Hello. I'm sorry, my computer's about as slow as I am today. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, 
so happens the computer is numb. Right? Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> well, I do have two computers, so that's actually AS, possible. ASDF works fine, but JKL semicolon, yeah. no way. It's a no-go. Okay, um, so I move to here, and um, I'll also ready an action to okay. ring some bells if uh, anything comes through that is an enemy of mine. Okay, uh, and you don't have to, this is again, the weird, when those weird, like, edge cases, um, spiritual weapon is not a concentration spell, so nope. you, can, you can hold the spell. Okay, all right, so as before, 2d20, I guess I can just tab up to it. Uh, here comes, here comes the attempt at these creatures to break the door down. More, more hanging on the other side. 21, closer. You, you can see, you can see the door is like, just barely holding on. To? Um, I mean, if they get they it, they have to crit. They gotta get it. Basically. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, Rin? Like, and also, given enough time, like, I, I said this before, it's not a permanent mark. solution. The door is jammed. Yeah, eventually they could just It's not welded shut. Yeah. Arthur, I won't touch that one. Uh, and I will ready action for if anything comes through the door, I lock it viciously. And actually, I should look up, because they're going to start, like, exactly the same conclusion you came to, Drew. They will probably figure they can't jimmy it open, and they'll just start attacking it. Um, Dungeon Master's Guide for that stuff? To punch, punch, like, doors and stuff? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think doors have like yeah, a for like object hardness. Yeah. Yeah, how hard they're. I they think it's AC. Like a oh, you know what? I bet you it's got. I bet you it's got a door list. I think it's like AC fifteen, from what I remember. No. Uh, yeah. Dungeon features. It's always one of those things. Like the object is not moving. It's very large. Like how are you not hitting it? But it's made to. Stay. How are you not? <laughs> It's just uh, like how much the, damage. The, what kind the, of an idiot are you? The doors what? are thick, sturdy wood fitted with iron hinges and handles. Okay, so thick, sturdy wood. They would have an AC, an AC in the threshold or whatever. So. Uh, yeah, how hard to damage, not how hard to hit it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... I guess but then also, Rin, you 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 Rin, you take, like you take your which turn, which also doesn't make sense. No, well, so. there's a there's a threshold. You have to do a certain amount. Of yeah. It's your turn. Yeah, I moved and I said I will just him off, whatever. Okay, alright. Okay, move and dash. Uh, she's gonna kind of look to the group, and she's gonna wait one more round. Either they'll break through the door and she'll stab them, or eight will be next to her. Both myself and Rin and you are within distance to attack them. Remember, her, I, she knows there's two of them, and mm -hmm. it's a lot harder to sneak attack two things when eight. Oh, not. right. Yeah. Fucking red Lyrian. Yeah. Uh, okay. She's gonna just, uh, same thing, hold an action again. Alright, um, I'm trying to figure out what section... Of the Dungeon Master's Guide, this horse shit is in. And then I'll write it down. So the next time you do it, yeah. If both of them come through the door and they're next to each other, she doesn't. I can't sneak attack them. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look. Uh, I think it's AC. I think, because I'm talking about that. I think it's AC 5, and it's got like. Uh, door. Thanks, chat. Okay. So yeah, they uh Macaria, you you doing the same thing? Uh-huh, I've got Toll the Dead ready. Falling back! Not, I don't know if I have to beat my own PC twenty six. You do, yeah. <laughs> if you wanna pick the if you wanna pick the lock and the grill. It might like, just be easy ah, to break it. <laughs> okay, so it's a wooden door. Um and I've got a different roll with it. Not okay. All right. They're not active. All right. So let's roll HP for it. Okay, we're building an uh, object. Roll that. I'm gonna roll it in the same way I would the monster. So you guys don't know how many hit points because it's more tense if you don't know how long it is for them to bash it down. You guys don't make your castle walls out of wooden and <laughs> doors. I mean, you know. Okay, all right, and then uh, there are two of them able to attack the uh, attack the door. So you hear 
um, like smashing against the door on the other side. Uh, and God, what game was it? Is it Age of Empires 2 where the corners of castle walls had more HP? Yeah, <laughs> you just spammed the corner as opposed to making it. You built, always built like diagonal pieces. Yeah, that was it. Okay, so oh, only cool. one, only one is capable of doing damage, and it does, and it deals uh, eleven to the door. Uh, the door is. Uh, it's getting fucking shredded. 